Hey brothers and sisters, it is Paul again with a message that I hope reaches everybody today. So, the good news is the Lord is letting me release something that is very special to me. And I normally never share these dreams. I was very shocked when he actually released it to me to share. So, this is for encouragement for all of those who walk with the Lord and are separated and they feel you know like you're going through personal stuff you feel like you know nothing's going right for you but you're following the Lord and it's for those people don't get me wrong everybody deserves the the beautiful love of the Lord and you know I know many people say they can't hear the voice of the Lord but when, when you walk and you talk and you follow his commandments and you truly submit yourself to him, he will give you beautiful messages one time. So this is not a bragging. This is not anything like that. I mean, you look at people like the book of Job. Look what he went through before he saw his true reward, you know, on earth anyway, before he went to be with the Lord. So, this was a special dream that the Lord shared with me. I received this on January 7th, just a few days ago. And I had went to bed, kind of in a low, but asking the Lord, you know, how long do we have to wait? What's going on? Is it in my lifetime? All the stuff that we all pray about. So, what I do now, just so for, I've been asked by many people how I pray and I just have conversations. I just straight up talk to God like I'm talking to any one of you face to face. And I do, I usually do this at night when the lights are off. I'm sleeping beside my wife. I just notice that if I shut off all the stimulations around me, like what I could see, what I could hear, I shut them all off and it's just me and the Lord talking. The power of prayer is unbelievable, you know, because it's just me and him in spirit. It's amazing. So. Uh, oh, this is amazing. So I had asked the Lord, like, how am I going to know what to do? How am I going to know what to say? And I was thinking about tribulation and stuff like that. This is kind of like, I don't want to say what I was praying about, but we we were talking about, you know, what's going to happen in tribulation. And I already know that I was chosen to come back and help people. So... <clears throat> This is what I saw in the dream. So I wrote it down. It's very quick. But in my dream, I saw me and my wife. And she was kind of off to my right, buzzing around the way my wife likes to buzz around in the kitchen and stuff. But in this dream, I was sitting on the ground with many, many other men in, in robes. And I was looking around. At, at first, it seemed like it was just me seeing this in, in, like, uh, in spirit. And I was experiencing this. And then suddenly I realized Jesus sat down in front of me, grabbed my hands, literally grabbed my hands without moving his mouth. He said, and what are we going to talk about today, Paul? So now let me read what I wrote. Me and my wife were praying the Bible with Jesus, going over the sermons with him. I got to experience how the apostles felt holding his hand. And I looked up on the wall and I saw on the billboard different names of sermons that he had said, you know, as we know him, the Beatitudes and all that stuff. But I saw number 40, 144 on the blackboard beside us. So 144,000 is what I'm assuming that, that means. And that was the end of that dream. And I could tell you, I woke up in full weep mode. Like it was the purest love I had ever felt in any of my dreams. It was incredible. So... I said, thank you. I woke up my wife. I told her about it. And then I just passed out cold again. Um, and I actually did look up. I woke up at 540. So I did look up what it was attached to. And it was Hebrews 7, 3. Without father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning of days nor the end of life, but made like unto the Son of God, abide a priest continuously. What that means in my understanding of this interpretation, if you believe in God, you will not die. You will continue like the Son of God, 
meaning eternally. That's beautiful. And we will be priests. When we are in our spiritual form, we will be priests, possibly helping Jesus throughout the a thousand millennium reign, I'm assuming. And then switch modes now. This is the second dream I had. So this is more for what's going to happen in the future. So this one caught me by surprise. I was standing, and again, it started in witness mode, and I actually never saw myself. So I don't know if this is in spirit through the person that was dealing through this, but I saw President Trump, and he walked into a room, and in this room, this was like a semi-trailer set up as a security detail. So D Donald Trump walked in and he had five doubles. These men looked exactly like him, but younger. But you had to be close enough to notice this. The, de the detail of their disguises or the detail of their being doubles was incredible. So I only noticed because I was talking to the real one that how close these other guys. So these other guys, I guess, were maybe used in instances where... Um, you know, they're going to and from in and out of vehicles. I don't know, maybe just so that when people on cameras are taking pictures from a distance, you can't 100% tell. So this is what I wrote. I saw President Trump and his five doubles. It was Christmas time, or at least before Christmas time. This person was the head of security. I wrote I was head of security, but I don't know if it was me. I was asked to follow and protect Trump more than once. So what they were doing is they were switching me in and out with all these doubles. In one event, they were like literally switching the Trumps. Um, I needed to be seen with each double. I saw them decorating outside and it was a hospital. And it was an entrance with a circular uh, entrance. I, I remember when I was working at ambulance, they had circular entrances in front of hospitals. So you can get out, drop off in the, you know, the ambulance and continue. But there was a part where he, President Trump said, follow me. So he brought me in through, and hospitals have sliding doors. Like, you know, that you walk in and they open up. Um, the minute we walked through this door, which seemed like a hospital, boom, we were in the legislative building or, or like a parliamentary building. And I said, what are we doing here? And he introduced me to a woman and a son and said, uh, I need protection and this is the strange part of the dream as he goes, I want you to go with this double. And I saw Trump go down. Um, it was like a freight elevator, I guess. And he went down out of sight and the dream ended. So I don't know what that means. Going up, down usually means something in dreams. I'm going to leave it at that. But how do I say this? Before I put this message out, actually, no, I'll leave it at that. Guys, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And Jesus wants you to have both the understanding of the first dream, continue with your walk with Jesus, and you, we will be rewarded. Second one, I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. I pray that somebody out there has the interpretation of the second one. But I think it being crisp, like prepared, preparation for Christmas like I forgot to mention that when they were preparing they were decorating these um, semi trailer beds and they were putting like Christmas trees on it and it was like preparing for Christmas so it wasn't even Christmas yet so maybe this is in the upcoming year I don't know I love you guys let me know what you think of this and I'll talk to you later okay bye